Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Alex here from Desert Elite. This is the start of our at-home series. We're gonna do some stretches with you guys that'll take about, about two to three minutes that you guys can do at home in a nice stationary spot where you guys can uh, get stretched out, be ready to go for basketball. All right, guys. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do our we're gonna do our high knees. When we get our high knees, you wanna make sure your knees are getting up to your chest area. You don't wanna just go up to about right here. You wanna get it nice and up high, okay? So when I'm doing this, my knees are up high. I'm getting it nice and high up here, driving my driving my feet up. Okay, from a side view, you guys can see it right here, driving those legs up. If you wanna do this for about about 20 to 30 seconds, get a nice little, get a nice little uh get that blood flowing a little bit. Next one we got is we got our quad stretch, okay? You're gonna hold that you hold that foot up to your hip area, hold it right there and stretch it. If you wanna hold your, your hand out to kind of balance, to balance, you can. Hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. After that, you're gonna switch feet and you go to the other one. Same thing for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, our next one is Frankensteins. And our Frankensteins, we're gonna have our opposite hand and our opposite foot touch. So I'm swinging my foot up, I'm touching my opposite hand to my opposite foot up just like this you want to do about maybe maybe five or six on each foot so if i'm walking with it i can walk with it do one and then do the other and then be able to stay with it doing it that way next one is knee breakers on our knee breakers we're holding up our ankle up to our hip and we're going to push down on our knee getting our leg nice and stretched again for about 10 to 15 seconds you're going to hold it and then we're going to switch do the same thing now we got our lunges. Our lunges, we're gonna do a forward lunge first. We're gonna have a forward lunge. We're gonna keep our chest up. We're gonna twist left, twist right, get our back stretched out. And then we're gonna switch it, do the same thing. So when I switch it, I'll switch my feet. I'll do the same thing, twist and twist. Make sure that your knees are bent right here. Twist, twist. You should be feeling it, feeling it in your legs. After that, we go right into our side lunge. So we'll go a side lunge, shift this way shift the opposite way and we'll hold that again for about 10 to 15 seconds the next one is our toe and heel walks we're going to walk with our up on our tippy toes trying to get our calves all stretched out you should really feel it in those legs okay we'll do that down and back for a couple steps and then we're going to switch it to our heels same thing with our with our with our toe walks we're going to do it just on our heels now keep those toes in the air walk on your walk on those heels walk on those heels All right, adding on to some of our stretches, we're gonna do some non-basketball drills as well as some non-dribbling uh, drills to kind of get us nice and uh, nice and stretched. We're gonna start with some wrist flicks. Okay? On your wrist flicks, you're gonna hold your hand as high as you can, just like you're doing a follow through on your jump shot. And all we're doing is we're flicking our wrist forward. Flicking our wrist forward, try to do that as hard as you can for about 10 to 15 times. Once you do that a couple times, you're gonna have your hand down, do the same thing, but you're gonna flick that wrist up. Flick that wrist up. Okay, we do that about 10 to 15 times. If you want to switch hands, you can do the same thing. Left hand flicks, down and up, about 10 to 15 each. Okay. Now when we're holding the basketball, we want to have a tight grip on the ball. We don't want to hold the ball loose. Someone can just slap that ball right out of our hands, okay? I also don't want to have the ball right in front of me because that's where that defender's at. I want to have that ball nice, nice and back right on my hip area, right here. I want to have my hands, one right here, ready to shoot the ball underneath the ball. And then one right here on the side is my guide hand, ready to pass it, ready to dribble it, ready to shoot it. I'm down in my triple threat stance, balls right at my hip. I can pivot, protect the ball, keep it low, keep it in nice and tight, be able to protect it. Now, let's work on some more strengthening stuff. We're gonna do some finger grabs, okay? You're gonna hold your fingers as tight as you can, just like this, holding the ball on the sides. You're gonna push that ball in, trying to pop it, trying to squeeze it, holding that ball just like that. You should feel it in your fingers, feeling it in your hands. Once you get that a couple times, you're gonna turn it, and then turn it back, turn it forward, turn it back. Do that about maybe 10, 15 times as well. Works on works on a lot of uh, grip strength as well as your wrist strength. Now we're gonna start slapping the ball, okay? When we're slapping the ball, we don't wanna have our palms on the ball, right? We wanna use our fingertips to control it. So when I'm slapping this thing, like even if I catch the ball, I'm slapping it ready to go, ready to catch it. So as we're going through this, all we're gonna do is just slap the ball down in the stance, slap it as hard as you can. Really wanna try to make a loud noise without them. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do some squeezes. So in squeezes, we're holding the ball above our head and we're just gonna squeeze the ball up, trying to get air time on it. Trying to squeeze the ball up, like we're trying to get the ball up as high as we can. Just like that, about 10 to 15 reps. And then tap. 
Now we're gonna do our tap. So just like with our squeezes, we're gonna hold the ball above our head. And instead of squeezing it, we're gonna tap it back and forth. Once we do that a couple times, we're gonna bring it down, trying to bring it forward, keep those arms locked out, keep them straight, bring it back up, try to get as many taps in as you can. Do it one more time, all the way down, all the way back up. All right, guys, well, that concludes our stretching, our stretching workouts. Um, if you guys want to add some running to that, do like some 25%, a 25% jog for about 10 to 15 steps. Work that way up to 50%, 75, and then 100% sprint. Um, along with that, just make sure you're just continuing to work. This, this should take about five, this take about five to seven minutes when you're done with the whole thing. Um, you should be a little bit out of breath. You should be, you should be loose, ready to go, ready to play some basketball and all that good stuff. Okay. See you guys in the next one.